video is literally going crazy. We got people from other countries outside of the U.S. commenting on that joint. Yo, what's good, y'all? I'm here in the city, Yo, here with these cats. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So he would have actually. Someone just. Hey. Yo, what's good, y'all? It's Catch and Yannicka. I'm out here enjoying my life, you know, with another vlog. But first things first, if you're new to the channel, my name is Akachi on Yenica. I'm an alto saxophonist, multi-instrumentalist, and performing artist from Upper Darby, Pennsylvania. And my goal on this channel is to become a world-renowned music legend. So I post vlogs, performances, song covers, you name it. So if that interests you, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. You feel me? It's another day out here in the city. Every day is lit. <laughs> Always see the coolest stuff when I'm out here. And, you know, it gives me some time, some cool time to just reflect on different stuff that I'm doing you know inside my music career so you know what I'm saying right now I just finished the vlog from yesterday if you guys didn't see the vlog from yesterday I know this stuff is pretty much out of order right now but I pretty much finished the vlog where I interviewed a bunch of young cats we had some people from Chicago come through um, Rittenhouse Square you know what I'm saying I got to interview them I got to interview um, some young entrepreneurs that are you know they got their own clothing brand and everything so it's been some really cool stuff happening, you know? Looks like they're getting for, ready for fall. They got a lot of hay and stuff out here. I have no idea what they're finna do. Yo, what's good, y'all? I'm here in the Yo, city. I'm here yeah. with these cats. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Follow me on the gram, fn.tiz. F-N-T-I-Z-Z. Follow me. <laughs> follow me on YouTube at SonyTube. All right. Follow me on the gram, no limit, sir. N-O-1-R-M-I-T dot S what all. We in Philly, man. We in Philly. You know how we coming. You know what I mean? Yeah. Another day in the city, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? I think I always like to give, you know, the younger generation a chance to, you know, show their stuff. So, you know, go follow them, support their content. You know what I'm saying? It's cool. Like, Philly. Philly has a lot of talent, you know, Philly, Delaware County, Upper Darby, everywhere. It's a lot of talent and you won't expect it from the younger generation, you know, but that's really where it starts. And it's kind of interesting. I think I was having a conversation with somebody like, cats like Herbie Hancock and like, I'm talking jazz musicians, like, cats like Herbie Hancock, all these guys that are famous right now, like, these cats were getting big when they were in their teens, you know, or early 20s. So it's like when adults these days, I think it's pretty crazy. Hey, <laughs> Philly love. When adults these days think it's pretty crazy for like someone that's like 24, 25 to make it, it's like it doesn't make any sense, you know. Michael Jackson. What? Michael Jackson, I can't talk. Michael Jackson was literally like less than 10 years old when he made it. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, man. Just don't limit success to age you know you don't have to be a certain age to be famous so on some pop culture news j cole made an instagram video you know it's crazy he doesn't post but now he's just posting because he's on tour but he basically said he overestimated just the production quality of you know his tour he has a lot of cool you know gear that he's bringing and everything he's trying to make it special for his fans but the problem is it was so much gear that he didn't account for. He didn't think about the time that it would take to set it up. So he would have actually... Someone just... Hey! Hey. That's what's up. Yo, I just saw one of my subscribers in Philly. That's crazy. That's wild, man. That's wild. I wish I could have gotten that on video using the cheese bus too. But yeah. Like, basically, he brought too much stuff on his tour, and he couldn't do the tour for um, for Philly. So he's not going to be able to come to Philly, and a lot of people are angry about that. A lot of people hired, apparently, babysitters to, you know what I'm saying, get their, um, dang, I should have recorded that. It, it happened so fast. Yeah, a lot of cats, like, you know, flew out here to try to see something really cool. But um, unfortunately, it can't really happen. So my thing is for you guys, like, is that acceptable? You know, if an artist says he's going on tour, and I love J. Cole, you know, don't get me wrong. If an artist says he's going on tour, 
but doesn't account for stuff and starts like delaying the shows and everything like how do you guys feel about delayed tours so whoever just told me they subscribed to me today comment down below in the comment section you know um i was just walking down center city today is because you know i don't sometimes i don't upload these vlogs on time so let me just see what time it is it is 3 3 47 right now thursday um september 30th you know what i'm saying so if you saw me just now in center city let me know in the comments down below thank you for watching all my videos i really appreciate all your support and yeah philly stay strong really looking great today you know what i'm saying center city vibes with it kimmel center right over there for those of you who are new to my channel honestly the kimmel center played a huge role in just i'm not gonna say my whole upbringing as a musician but like it played a huge role because it was the first time I was actually allowed to go to Philly. And as you can see right now, they got a lot of cool stuff that's here that wasn't there before. You know what I'm saying? I Heart Philly, all this cool stuff right here. Here's a close up of this drawing right here. The reason why it was such a huge place was because we had this thing called the Kimmel Center Jazz Camp in Philadelphia. And the cool thing with that is they would always have these jazz musicians come in like every day and do a clinic with us. And I just thought it was really cool. You know, you just, you get exposed to new music. They teach you some cool stuff. We had some people that like, they didn't even believe in time signatures. You know, Steve Coleman and um, I think it's called The Five Elements. It's been a while. If I made a mistake, you know, um, forgive me. But yeah these guys like they they were the baddest musicians too like these guys were crazy like everyone that came in was a beast we had some people playing grand piano and they played giant steps like man a lot of cool stuff happened with that and um i don't take any of that for granted you know a lot of those experiences that you get as an adolescent you know you kind of have to cherish it because you never know like that might be it. So I'm just thankful that I'm able to do music today and that I had those kind of experiences. But if you're in school right now, high school, middle school, I do strongly encourage you to get involved with the arts, you know, talk to your parents, let them know, hey, you know, I want to take my music a little bit further. You know, I want to experience more stuff. So, you know, hopefully you guys can experience some cool stuff out there. Peep this theater, y'all. This is the Suzanne Arts Theater of Philadelphia. I actually performed here back in 2018. I told you guys, if you guys watch my videos, 2018 was one of the littest years of my life. Like, <laughs> especially on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? I was actually on bass and I think, I don't know if I played sax that day too. I think I was switching between the two. And I played for this spoken word artist uh, named Akil Ali. And he basically had us playing some cover songs. He would do the spoken word over it. And it was a really cool vibe, to be honest with you. So, you know, that place has some good memories. I was there with um, Brandon Coakley on drums. We had Con Myers on keys. It was a lit day, to be honest. So hopefully we can get back inside that place one day. Yo, so I'm thinking I'm gonna go to one of my secret spots in Philly. This is a spot that I've only ever been to, I think once. And it's like, I don't wanna spoil it, but it's like, you don't find places like this out here you know what i'm saying this is one of those spots where like you just have to be wandering or some shit to find it so we're finna go to that secret spot all right y'all we are here this right here what i'm about to show you is amazing this is very historic you know what i'm saying this is some of the best musicians to ever come out of philly right here in three two one all right so right over here hope y'all can see that we got literally quest love right over there from the roots just jamming right there we got a bunch of artists that i probably can't get with this camera from this angle but you know what i'm saying it's some cool stuff right here i saw this like earlier this summer too so definitely some cool stuff Oh yeah, in case you guys didn't know, the masters for my EP just came in. So pretty much, I'm ducking tree branches and everything. Pretty much, the EP is done. I just gotta upload it to the sites, you know, the streaming services, and then we're pretty much good to go. So uh, what I can confirm today is that the release date is this month, October. Probably at the end of this month, you know what I'm saying? But um, it should be lit. 
I'm really excited for this project. We put in a lot of work, a lot of hours, you know what I'm saying, to this project. So cannot wait until you guys hear it. So now that the project's done, I'm starting to think about, you know, well, you guys don't have to worry about this, but I'm thinking about like, what's next? You know, I tapped into the whole FL Studio thing um, last year, and I did have a lot of beats that I made. I'm still experimenting with that. I want to get a new MIDI keyboard. Comment down below the best MIDI keyboard for making beats. But I'm thinking about either an Akai, Novation, I'm not sure. It's funny because I was actually at um, this local music store of mine, um, George's Music, you know what I'm saying? If you're ever in Delco, look up George's Music, Springfield, you know what I'm saying? But I went there and I was looking for different MIDI keyboards. They had a couple options. I'm not really sure if I want to get one just yet, at least from there, but I don't know. I want something that's easier than bringing down my 70 plus key, you know, keyboard downstairs just to be able to make beats. Once I get that down, I'm going to start producing a lot more. I got the mic and everything, so it'll be a completely different sound too. My bro Niles told me that when it's evening like this, this is called golden hour because the sun is just bright, you know what I'm saying? Alright, real quick before I wrap this joint up, so make sure to run up the numbers on the City Dreams music video where we're almost at 30,000 views, alright? Oh my god! Wow! The video is literally going crazy. We've got people from other countries outside of the US commenting on that, John. I'm really excited for that, so keep running up the numbers. Thank you guys for all your support. It really means a lot to me. Let's go for the mill. I know we can do it. Alright y'all, it's been real. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, please make sure to like, comment, share, and if you need to the channel, subscribe. Make sure to follow me on social media. Links are down below inside the description. Make sure to stream City Dreams. It's available on all streaming platforms. I got it inside the description. And it's also pinned down below inside the comments. Make sure to turn on post notifications, the bell icon next to the subscribe button so you never miss a video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.